Hey there, this is James with Isotropic, and in this video I'm going to show you a plugin called WordPress Scheduled Posts Pro. Uh, I'm going to show you the back end, the front end, uh, the support, and a couple other things that we are uh, using in our own pluginreview.com website. Uh, and, and I just wanted to give you guys a walkthrough and a, and a good understanding of this plugin. So Scheduled Post Pro allows you to do exactly as the name suggests, which is schedule posts automatically. Uh, so for example, a couple use cases for this would be if you are um, somebody who purchases content, so you purchase a bunch of content, say you get uh, 20,000 words, you get uh, 20 individual blog posts, you can schedule these blog posts to be published at certain times uh, by either automatically scheduling them or manually scheduling them to go. Uh, and, and what this does is it keeps your website up to date. It's good for SEO because you have always up, up to date content if you're publishing a bunch from a batch purchase. Uh, and then also if you write a lot of blog posts and you just want an easy way to schedule them automatically, uh, this is a good post for you too. So as you can see, this is the main uh, settings page. So you can share on social media platforms. You can show all of the uh, individual interface elements under specific post types, specific categories, stuff like that. Uh, and then you can also have a post immediately button uh, if need be. And I'm going to show you now a blog post with this function enabled so you can see what this really how how this helps so here's a blog post just random blog post that I have uh, and I've set up the schedule to publish I'll show you the schedule actually before I go into this I've set up the schedule to publish automatically one post on Sunday one on Monday one on Tuesday two on Wednesday one Thursday two Friday one Saturday uh, it starts at 6 and it ends at 20 so within these days, it will automatically choose a time to publish one post on Sunday, automatically one post on Monday, automatically two posts on Friday. You can also do a manual schedule, stuff like that. But auto schedule will save you the time because all you need to do now is, I'm back under the post, all you need to do now, because we've set this up, it's Sunday for me, because we've set this up and I've already published a post on Sunday. Uh, but because we've set this up now, I can schedule this post to be published on Monday, June 22nd, 2020 at 727 PM. Clicking that enables the schedule and then I just click schedule. And then say I go and actually schedule this. So now this is scheduled to publish now uh, and it saves you the time of having to go and do the traditional way of scheduling things where you click on here, you find your time, yada 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 so now this is scheduled to post right let's do another blog post say we wrote another blog post or we have another blog post that we're adding to the interface so now we can see that it's set to schedule on tuesday at 8 53 a.m and then we'll do it again uh, for post three post four because we have two set to schedule on wednesday uh, it will publish two on wednesday uh, and then we'll continue going on like that. So that's just a really simple and easy way to do things when it comes to scheduling. So you can set your schedule. You can also uh, set up an email notification. And this is really helpful if you have multiple authors on one blog and you only want uh, only want a couple posts to go out per day. So say you have a multi-author blog, you pay your authors uh, for their submissions at any time of the day but you only want to be posting three blog posts per day uh, and say they submit six posts. So they'd schedule it um, for that Wednesday. And then when three are scheduled for Wednesday, the only available option will be another on Thursday and another on Friday, another on. So as you can see, it, it allows you to maintain the schedule of your blog and automatically keep content up to date. And, and if you have a lot of posts, that aren't super time sensitive, you can push them out further and further and further. You could set it to do one per day and then you can uh, publish 365 in one day and every single day of the year, it will automatically post the post for you, right? Um, so then 
I've gone through all of this. Uh, you can you can add social profiles so it will automatically share to your social media. Uh, to do that, you'd need to authorize via Facebook, authorize via whichever one you're trying to use, and then you can also set the templates that will be shared as well. Um, and those are really the main settings behind WordPress scheduled posts. Uh, now another thing that we like on this site at least is uh and we'll use this on pluginreview.com and we also use this on our agency site isotropic.co but you can see that we we scheduled two test posts just now you can see that it's it's scheduled on the calendar and you can visually see when these posts are going to happen uh, and what this allows you to do is is drag and drop the post so say we want to post this post on another day we can drag and drop it to different sections on the calendar. We can layer posts on different sections in the calendar. Uh, and we can easily edit, quick edit, delete, and view the post from the calendar. So really, this plugin does exactly what it's designed to do. And I'm going to delete these posts because we don't want these to actually be posted. But what it, what it says in the title, WordPress Schedule Post Pro, is what it does. You schedule posts. It allows you to automatically do that. Uh, you can do that through Gutenberg. You can manage it through a calendar. Uh, and you can have a multi-author blog only post a certain amount per day. Manage the schedule here. And it's just really a great tool that allows you to easily um, go ahead and, and schedule a bunch of posts uh, for different days and different months and different times. Uh, you do this automatically. You do this manually. It allows you to share it automatically to social media, uh, email notifications, stuff like that. Finally, the one other thing I want to go over is the support behind this plugin. So there's a great documentation, there's great support, and this is actually published by the guys at WP Developer, uh, and they have a bunch of different products, and we've gone through some of these products. They have schedule posts. The one that you might know is Essential Add-ons for Elementor. Uh, it's the most popular Elementor add-on pack out there. But I mean, as you can see, there's a ton of uh, YouTube videos and documentation items that come with this plugin. Uh, and it's just a very well-designed, easy to use experience when it comes to uh, scheduling posts. So I hope this quick video gave you a good overview of this plugin, a good walk through the back end of the plugin, a couple of use case ideas, uh, and it just showed you all in all why we really enjoy and like this plugin, why it's uh, a staple in our pluginreview.com site, which is where this video ends up, as well as our isotropic.com site, which is uh, our agency website. Uh, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments section below. And feel free to visit pluginreview.com, where we review a bunch of different websites, a uh, bunch of different uh, plugin solutions for websites and uh, give us give you our thoughts on the individual plugins.